Hi guys, it's Melissa from 70 Acres Studio. I was catching up with my YouTube favorites, Crystal Dragonfly from Crystal with Art It Out, had posted a new video today. She was looking at a video that Cindy Utter had made. She had used the purchased charm blanks to fill, uh, and she filled them with sequins and beads and just little findings uh, and, and glossy accents and she made these adorable little necklaces. Crystal didn't have any of those charms. I don't have any of them either but she decided let's try to make our own so she she made little foil cups and she used this glue because she didn't have glossy accents and she started filling it with beads and sequins and glitter I have all sorts of glitter. I have mica powder from my wood turning days. I even have some black stuff called Black Star and I thought I'd try that. And of course I have my jar of sequins and I have a bottle of seed beads. So I thought I would give it a try and see how it turns out. I was so excited that I had to just quick put things together. Be careful if you're using this stuff. You can get this stuff on eBay and Amazon. This is used to make eye makeup, but it's extremely fine. So you don't want to inhale it. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit and try and only work on ones that you can see. Let's try some of this beautiful Cayman Green. Isn't that? Oh, that's gorgeous. I just can't stand it. Wow, that color's pretty. Black Star. You can just see hints of it. Well, that's a big plop. Now, let's see if I can ramp it up and use larger glitter. Let's try and find a few sequins that'll work well. Oh, I think that really works with that color. Let's see. Let's see what others. Oh, here we go. He is a good one. Oh wow, here's a whole stack of stars. <laughs> Got stuck together. I will add a link to Crystal's video there in the corner as this is completely her idea it is not my idea I did not come up with it I was just so excited when I saw this I had to turn on the camera and give it a try come on I could pick through this stuff all day over there all right Let's see if I can find a few beads it might work. I made my foil cups with a larger hole punch. She used a one inch hole punch and mine is, it says a one and a half inch punch. And I punched it out of foil. I just went like this and squeezed. Now because she used a smaller circle her cups are not as deep as mine but I don't plan on filling mine. Hopefully they won't be a failure. I'm very excited to see how these turn out. If you are the type of person like I am who likes instant gratification 
this is probably not the project for you because you have to leave them alone until tomorrow. So that takes care of that. Now what else can I stick in here? Stick some of this in. Ah, okay. Don't do that. I think Crystal even said that. Be careful. Don't breathe on it. Ah, I'm making a mess. I'm so excited. Before I point it down. If you want to use some of your glitter glues in here, just keep pushing on it until it starts to come out the top before you aim it down into your cup. And if it's clogged, use a pin to open it up so you don't have an explosion. You want to do this with everything on a flat surface so it levels out nice. a couple more. Find a little flower. Don't breathe. Some blue. Really pretty blue. Okay guys, I'm going to pause here and I'll come back and I will show you these when I have them all dried tomorrow. I have an entire tray of dragonfly crystals that are drying. Here they are. I just cannot wait until tomorrow. To take them out of the foil and see how they turn out. They look really cool from this angle. I just want to play with them. I wish I could put them in the oven or something to dry them. So that's that. Tomorrow I'll come back and I will show you the embellishments, the charms. I think I might set up Behemoth Bertha and pay her a visit. I've got quite a basket full of scraps here and I'm feeling the need to have some mindless play. I'm very tender at the moment with my with the anniversary of my father's death approaching and uh, my stepmom will be moving two days after that anniversary out of the home that she shared with my father for I guess the last 20 years at least. But as she said you know it, it's time for her to do what she wants and she spent over 40 years with my dad and she went wherever he wanted to go. So now it's her turn and I'm just feeling awfully blue and uh, sad. But on that note, let me go get um, Behemoth Bertha out and uh, I will come back as soon as I have something set up. Hi guys! Three days later it finally dried and I also had to put mine in the oven twice. I put it at a uh, temperature at 170 Fahrenheit and put it in there for about an hour and took it out and let it cool and then put it back in for maybe another 20 minutes or so. And I left it in the oven overnight and they finally got to a point where they're still very pliable but they are dry to the touch. And I peeled all of the foil off. I didn't want to waste time doing that all on camera. Let's see if I can get them to focus. Come on, there we go. They came out really cute and I figured I would just do one on camera. I'll see if I can zoom in for you. So you can see it's a foil cup. Come on. I just took little foil circles and where are you? There you are. And wrapped them around this made little cups. You can see how thick they are. 
and the glue doesn't go all the way to the top. To the top. I also noticed that I was kind of stingy on the glue, so the next day all the glue had disappeared. So I had to put more glue in. I think I topped it off twice. It still almost disappeared. Some of these things, the sides are quite thick, but the glue only goes about a sixteenth of an inch. So let's peel this off. Make sure you're in camera. And I found that a few of them I had had the dull side of the foil in and the bottoms are dull. If I use the shiny side of the foil in, the bottom is shiny. This is still slightly tacky. You can see some of it's stuck to the glue, to the foil rather. And yeah, this is still a little, a little tacky in the middle. So there's the bottom. Try, I'm trying to hide the lower one so this will focus. There. Oops. I use a pair of scissors just to cut off some of the rougher stuff. I'll do that off camera here. And there you have it. I think this is such a great idea. Come on, focus. There you go. So thank you, Crystal, for the inspiration. I think they turned out really great, and I look forward to using them. That's it for now.